What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Papa Boy Will. So basically, Rare Breed Entertainment, they got a card that they're going to have, you know, and this card is going to drop on Monday. This is a straight to YouTube event. This is not going to be a situation where you have to have an app or you have to buy the pay per view or you have to get like the VOD or something like that or sell each battle. They're not going to do that. It's going to drop straight to YouTube. And basically, what this is, this is called social distancing. This is a response to the COVID 19 crisis. You know, this is called on site battle social distancing so these are going to be one rounders it's going to be about 14 battles now the caveat to this is that you know they want you guys to kind of donate they have a gofundme right now and they're trying to reach about four thousand dollars and that's for a reason so this is not going to be a tournament to where people are going to win four thousand dollars if they win a tournament this is not going to be a situation to where every battle rapper that wins their battle gets money they're going to have categories now remember i said this is called on-site battle so basically what that means is that they want you to have a very good you know like they want you to to make a good production you know they want you to have a a good location they want all that you know there's going to be categories you know so like i said you know every battle rapper that you know battles like their opponent if they win that battle they're not going to win money just because of that they're going to have categories one of the categories is going to be one thousand dollars that goes to the person that has the best one rounder you know what i mean and then another category is going to be the person that has the best performance you know what i'm saying so it's going to be you know 1k for the best performer then they're going to have one thousand dollars for the best on-site visual you know so all of this has to be taken into account if you want to win some money obviously they want to win some money they're not trying to battle for free so be creative with your you know what you send in and then the other thousand dollars is basically going to go towards the next card you know that you know rare breed entertainment is going to have and how i'm thinking they're thinking the next car is not like you know how y'all are thinking probably like you know the the stage or something like that is basically going to be probably like another social distancing type thing to keep everybody busy you know so that's something that y'all got to think about this is a, a creative way to you know keep people engaged in battle rap and to give the battle rap fans something to kind of look forward to and in the age to where everybody's getting off of youtube and trying to do different things and you know you have to pay money to see this and that you know to be able to see something for free you know and be put on for free you know is is dope now some people are kind of going to wonder yo is this going to be live stream is this going to be the same thing as quarantine this is not going to be live stream everything is going to be pre-produced and sent in and rare breed entertainment is going to have to edit it up and give it to you guys you know and present it well to you guys you know so you guys can kind of look at you know what's going on i don't know when the winners are going to be announced you know but obviously they got some things to work through to kind of make all all that happened but for right now this is the news this is what they're trying to do me personally i think it's dope you know but y'all have to decide whether or not y'all want to donate you know and y'all you know i see y'all like to donate for you know battlers of the year and stuff like that you know so you know this is a, a way for y'all to get immediate you know uh, you know, your money to go towards somebody immediately so you don't have to wait, you know, months and months and months to see where your money's going. You can, you know, put your money towards, you know, the 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 pot and then, you know, Rare Breed Entertainment can decide right after all the battles and everything. And then, you know, they can have their winners, you know, for whatever categories. So y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. Comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what y'all think about that. And another thing, you know what I'm saying? Like I put up a blog and it was basically the recap for Mike P versus Tay Rock, you know, and I took it down because I'm thinking about putting it back up later, you know, but, you know, right now, uh, I told y'all, you know, if y'all can, like, click that notification bell so you can get notified on when the blog drops. You don't know when I'm going to pull them down or put them back up, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is. Shout out to everybody in the Battle Rap community. Even if you can't donate, you know, go to Rare Breed Entertainment's channel and subscribe to the channel and watch the the battles you know so either way you'll be helping but something you know that you guys have to think about you know when these battles drop on youtube they're not making like a ton of money off of these things it's not going to be you know like a pay-per-view there's not going to be a vod there's not going to be none of that you know so 
the money is going to pretty much go directly towards the battle rappers with the $1,000 probably going towards the next social distancing type, you know, event. You know what I mean? So I think it's very creative what these leagues are trying to do. Even the URL, you know, they can kind of let, just let y'all sit there, but they're trying to, you know, figure out different matchups to put together, different ways to keep y'all, you know what I mean, engaged. You know what I mean? But y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about that. And another thing. You know, I feel like this card is, you know, you can see the matchups right here, but I think this card is kind of helping some people with opportunities. We got Big K, you know, he just had one of the, you know, craziest moments in battle rap. Some people are putting this as one of the biggest body bags in battle rap, and this is not to beat up on, you know, Adi Boom. I'm just saying what it is. You know, this has been on all social media platforms. People have been talking about this. So, you know, Foster Boss is going to stand in front of Big K, you know. So, you know, if all these odds are going to be on Big K's Foster Boss, you need to take advantage of your opportunity. I don't know what kind of talks you had or, you know, what's going on or what they're trying to do with you. But to give you Big K this early, you know, even though I know you've been battling for a while, but to get somebody like Big K, you know, that's just showing that, you know, the league is showing you that, you know, they are, are kind of looking for you to do great things. So take advantage of that opportunity. And you also have amongst the other battlers, you got Street Hems that's going to be going up against Sharon. I will say this, you know, Street Hems, I know you dope. You know, I've seen your battles before. Sharon ain't no joke, you know, and they, they just put you up against a wild and out star, you know, I rock with Sharon, like, I'm cool with Sharon, I ain't got no problems with him, but, you know, I will say, you know, write like you never wrote before, because he, you know, is dangerous, one of the most underrated battle rappers, is probably one of the most dangerous, you know, battle rappers that we have out there, but nonetheless, you know, this is an opportunity for you to be able to showcase your talent or re-rep, you know, re introduce yourself to the public, you know, and I think that's dope. So, you know, who knows how they're going to try to flip these cards around and switch them around, but they're looking for you guys to help kind of, you know, help with the, the money to try to get these battle rappers paid. And none of these people are battling for free. They all trying to get money. And I understand, you know what I'm saying? You put your brand out here. All these people going to be talking about these battles when they drop. So, you know, they need to get some sort of a compensation, you know, but they also have to put on in order to be able to get, you know, any decent money. But y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. Come here, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about that. And keep in mind, you know, that these are not going to be lengthy battles. You know, they're not going to be 10 minute battles. They're just going to, you know, be straight to the point. Maybe they may be three minute battles, three minute, 30 seconds or something like that, you know. And, you know, obviously there's not going to be any crowd reaction. So keep that in mind. But it's still dope that they're trying to put together battles for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, be appreciative for what you have. Also, I want to talk about Mike P versus Tay Rock. Obviously, that battle went down on quarantine. This was kind of like a live stream type event. I think it was like a, not event. But, um, you know, it was kind of live stream on Skype. And, you know, we got a situation with Rock. You know, he lost a coin toss. He went first. You know, this is kind of like, you know, your typical Rock. He was surgical. But basically, you know, in a sense, basically sticking to, you know, Mike P flips, which was dope. You know, and then he had, like, basically his gun bars, like, with everything else. You know, and he kind of performed it like he would have on stage, like, you know, minus, you know, some energy. But I think he... You know, what I should say, he wrote for the stage, but he didn't have the energy, you know, that he would normally have for the stage. You know what I mean? But, you know, he got through the round cleanly. I think he had just a second to where he had like kind of a pause. But for the most part, you know, the bars, you know, weren't nothing crazy, you know, but, you know, it was enough to to kind of, you know, present it to the public and give people a, a decent show. Mike P., he was very, very creative. He started out, like, you know, with his uh, supposedly, like, a N95, like, respirator. But I think it was just, like, a regular, you know, hospital mask. And he, you know, had a clipboard. And he was saying, rock, you know, you know, I think I know why you're here today. I think, you know, you're here to die and let me help you with it, you know. And then he started, like, breaking rock down, talking about, you know, I don't know, rock. He's talking all kind of craziness, man. He's basically talking about you suck. You ain't been the same. You putting out whack music. He starts barring you like he's playing with words. So I don't know. He's joking. He's talking about he's going to come to, to, you know, Maryland and cough on you. He's talking crazy to you, Rock. He said he's going to cough on you, Rock. Tay Rocks. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about he going to cough on you. You know, but Rock, you know, to be, you know, all the way real with it, I think Rock was very, very, 
I think consistent, you know, with his round. I think he he did enough, you know, for his fans to think he won. I think Mike P did enough for his fans to think he won. Ultimately, I think this battle was a draw. I'm not going to play with y'all and say Mike P won. I'm not going to play with y'all and say Tay Rock won. Some people will say either one of them won clearly. You know, I've been seeing what everybody's been saying out there, and I just remember my initial impression. It was a draw. You know, so for right now, that's what it is. I've seen the battle twice, and, you know, I'm leaning towards Rock. You know, but for the most part, there's, you know, battle rap isn't necessarily about winning anymore. Like, it's not. It's about creating moments. And, you know, moments in battle rap last forever, you know, for the most part, if you can do them right. Now, you know, Mike P had, you know, like, I think like three different moments in the battle, which I didn't get any from Rock. You know, but I got a lot of bars and I got, you know, the typical things that we like in battle rap. So, technically, on a technicality, some people may lean towards Rock, but if you like all around performances, a person, you know, breaking you down and comedic talent, you know, with everything, you're probably going to go ahead and go with Mike P, you know, so like I'm saying, neither one of them lost to me, you know, but I'm kind of, I'm leaning towards rock, like in that battle, that's just me, you know, maybe, you know, y'all can look at other recaps from different people to see what y'all think, but, you know, that's what I'm leaning towards right now, but for right now, I'm kind of really, you know, putting it out there that nobody lost. You know, but this is going to be preference based. But like I said, it's all about moments. And Mike P did have moments, you know. So you, even though, you know, some people may not have them winning, you know, some people may, some people may not have them winning. You know, it's a situation where, you know, he showed up and Rock showed up. And they had kind of like an interview where Mike P said that he was more, you know, nervous, like he gets more nervous you know, doing things like this, you know, versus being on stage and Rock gets more nervous on stage and doing things like this. And you could see it like Rock was kind of going through the motions, whereas Mike P was kind of, you know, you could tell like he was had a little bit more energy with everything. You know what I mean? And that's what happens sometimes when you're nervous, you got to fight through it and energy, you know, ends up coming through like on camera. You know what I mean? So, you know, some people, how I'm looking at it for the most part, forget like my poll, that's going to come down to popularity. But from what I'm seeing online on Twitter, you know, and like just different people commenting on Facebook and different Facebook groups, you know, I'm seeing most people have Mike P winning in this battle. You know, I'm going to put it out there like that. Now, you know, with me, you know, obviously, you know, I'm kind of looking at it as debatable. I'm leaning more towards kind of like what I like in battles, which is going to be kind of like what rock. So I'm looking at it as being just a, a debatable battle. This is how I'm looking at it. Polls don't really matter too much. You know, all, you know, what matters to me is what people that, you know, matter or what they're saying. You know, and what a lot of these people are saying is that Mike P won the battle, you know, but I'm saying Rock won the battle, you know, so I'm looking at it as being, you know, kind of like a draw, you know, polls are all about popularity. They don't necessarily mean anything, you know, but it's good to put them out sometimes just to get a gauge of how some people think. It gives you like a feeling of a person's fan base, you know what I'm saying, or or how big their fan base is in certain situations, you know what I'm saying? So people put them out there for different reasons. You can't always get an accurate depiction on who won a battle from a poll, you know what I mean? You got to kind of, you know, put your feelers out there, look around, and hear what the people are actually saying, you know, and watch the arguments that people are having. Right now, you know, it's a draw to me, you know what I mean? I see a lot of people saying Mike P, but me, I got rocked. But y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. Comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what y'all think about that. Peace.